kitty. Hey kitty. Good morning everyone. Today I would like to do a little bit of testing with the um, PHEV and towing a trailer. So I have to pick up some hay for the ponies anyway um, on a farm not far away from here. I think Kelly wants to come with us. Hmm? Do you want to come? And I would like to do some testing so in regards to the fuel or energy consumption. Um, I would like to do the test twice. Kelly, you stink. You are a stinky dog. <sighs> The farm where I pick up the hay is only six kilometers away from here, so that's very close and totally in EV range of the car, of course. And the first test will be um, with trailer. I need to find out how heavy this beast is, actually. And I also need to ask the farmer how heavy this hay is about. So we've got a... Then we've got an estimate of the weight we are pulling. Okay, so I... Do this trip with the trailer, get the hay, then we recharge the car and then we do the same trip again without the trailer. And then we've got the exact difference of energy consumption with and without trailer. That'll be interesting. So, and this is my 8 by 8 by 6, 8 by 5, 8 by 5 foot trailer. It's a box trailer and it's made of good Australian steel. So this trailer itself is already pretty heavy and I think there is a label on the back where it actually tells us how heavy no that's not on here um, I'll find out and I'm also trying to set up this camera um, somewhere in the car and filming the MMCS dashboard I I doubt it will work I'll, I'll try it I need to I need to put something together just just bear with me and I also have the dog running and recording on my mobile phone at the same time. So we, hand, we can have uh, live figures from the drive to see what's going on in regards to the energy consumption. So the trailer itself has 280 kilos. So this whole thing fit here on the headrest of the car. And then I can mount my big camera at the front which hopefully is able to film the MCSE screen. Before I go, I have to get changed. Okay, ready for the farm. I hope it's recording now. Oh yeah, yeah it's flashing there. Okay, so this is recording now. So we don't need to worry about the dog anymore. We've got this one set with 50 kilometers. We've got this camera turned on. You can see me. You reckon there are too many cameras? But it's, it's so much fun. Okay. Let's pull this trailer out of the garage. Yep, done. Only um, it is hot. <laughs> if I'm sweating a little bit, it is hot. And up the hill. Definitely not working there. It's bouncing up and down. We haven't got the best roads here. Oh, has even turned off now. Because I didn't start recording on this little camera here. Okay. I'm recording now. It's not focus, it's out of focus, totally out of focus. I shouldn't do this while driving. Okay. Wow. 
off-road. <laughs> okay, let's take care of this camera here. Okay. It gives you an indication. All right. So, recording, recording, recording. And this screen is recording the mobile phone as well. I'm going to pick up only five um, squares of hay today, only half the load we usually take from them. Because we had so much rain in the last couple of weeks and now the grass is growing everywhere. So the horses have enough food at the moment anyway. Yeah, see how this bouncy camera... That's probably not worth it. I think it's too heavy for this little plastic arm. You won't be able to see anything there. Okay. It's a test we are testing. Okay, so we have driven 2.1 kilometers so far and have used 1.7 ampere hours and about half a liter of sweat. That's the cons consumption so far. I have to open the window a little bit so <laughs> it gets so hot. We've Let's try that. We've got 30 degrees only and it's cloudy outside, as you can see. But the humidity is so high at the moment. driven five kilometers and we've used five ampere hours but we're almost there way here okay I definitely turn off this um, interesting wise we've got we are down from 50 kilometers to 38 um, we've traveled six kilometers and these are the figures at the moment so I'm going to stop this one now stop live data how, how do you stop the recording here oh has it stopped now or not or what what is this flashing and ah here we go okay advertising for a fossil fuel car see you Rob bye bye you're always having a quick chat with a farmer <laughs> about weather and holiday and if it's too wet or too dry for them You know, he seemed to be very satisfied with the weather at the moment. Yeah, so this one is still working. We don't bother about the other camera anymore. And when I'm close to the road, we turn everything back on, all the recording. And then we hopefully have an official result when we come home. Oh, I've forgotten to ask how heavy they are. Ah, uh, I'll, I'll Google it. This is the new feature dog 0.9 we can now resume the data and what it does it picks up the last trip card again and continues to add the data to it this is quite okay start the recording again and resume data okay okay going home now and we put the, the hay in the, the shed and I reckon I've got I have to go in the pool then so Barry beware 
we will have a little pool session going on this afternoon. Definitely. Nobody coming. And back on the road. Yeah, I probably need another camera to film the cockpit, the dashboard. That would make sense. I'll figure something out. We've got some hills to master before we get, get home. And with a trailer, it's a heavy load. So this will pull uh, this will put a lot of strain onto the battery. I think we are ending up with close to 60. We've got 75 now. Just a rough guess. the car and it goes uphill at the same time. Oh, you should see the dashboard, the needle is almost up, so it's close to having the ice kicking in. But I know pretty well when it kicks in, so I can handle it. Okay, we are done and now it goes only downhill, only downhill. So we are going to regen a lot. You can only hear the tires on the gravel. That's all. Because I can can make a U-turn in this little driveway. Oh, key fob. Just want to show you how the car and the trailer turns in this tight space here.
That's a pretty good turn circle, isn't it? Alrighty. So then let's have a look at the dog. Okay, so consumption was 12.6 ampere hours. We are at 67.9% state of charge. I've regenerated 1.5 ampere hours while driving. So the EV range shows 22 now. Let's unload this hay and then we get the um, car charged back up and then we go for another drive this afternoon. So much fun to drive this car. <laughs>